like and subscribe right now, or else this will be in your bed tonight. r slash ask reddit by planet reddit. Depressed redditors. What do people say they think is comforting but is actually making it worse? It's all in your head. Yes. That is the problem. It's all in your head. You can say the same thing about a brain tumor. Or a well-aimed bullet. People have it worse. It's like saying you shouldn't be happy because someone has it better. By this logic. Only one person in the world would be able to be sad. Everyone else could have it worse. smbccomics.com link. I have bad days too. Oh god that's the worst. Sometimes people even try to one up you. When I was in a mental health care place once I didn't want to get up that particular day for group and this old timer who worked there said hey if I can get up in the morning you certainly can. I have fibromyalgia. I wanted to eat his face Hannibal Lecter style. I sent fibromyalgia quite painful. Every day. For no reason. And all doctors find nothing wrong with you? Almost all words of encouragement that isn't a direct compliment can and usually is countered and negatively construed in one's head. You can do it. Equals no I can't. You have people who care about you equals and here I am burdening them. You're a good person equals no I'm not. Direct compliments boost self esteem and are much harder to turn negative. I like your haircut. Good work on, task. Thank you. Of course it's gonna be different for everyone. Edit. Fixed a word. This is great advice. I've been there. And vague compliments like you're a good person are too easy to dismiss. In my case. It would have gone something like. You can do it. Equals I don't give a duck. You have people who care about you equals I don't give a duck. And so on. The little things can really mean a lot. Especially when they're related to something the person has recently accomplished. I like your haircut is a good one. I also try to connect specific compliments to more general traits that'd be too vague to compliment on their own. Like. Dinner was excellent. You're a wonderful cook. I really enjoyed the book you gave me. You always pick the best gifts for people. Thanks for loaning me this sweater. You have such great taste in clothes. That way. You have a supporting argument and not just a conclusion. For me it was more I'm not capable of giving a duck. I find during my worst episodes I feel no emotions at all rather than sadness. Giving compliments with a supporting argument appeals to the logic in me rather than my emotions and kinda breaks through and has an effect unlike the general compliments that just bounce off me. Duck I snap out of IT. Oh. I must snap something. Alright. Yes. It's like you are drowning right there and all they do is scream learn how to swim. Just grow gills. I'm in college and older people say. You should enjoy yourself now. This is the best part of your life then they list off the stuff they can't don't do after college. All I'm thinking is. That's ducking great. The best part of my life is utter shit. Duck my life. I see this so often. Travel around the world when you are young. 25 years. You won't be able to later in life. Of course it's easy to make friends when you are in school or in college but later it's going to be more difficult and you have to work to get some. I wasn't able to travel. And I didn't manage to make friends either. All I am hearing is that my future is shit. My expectations for college were way too high. Everyone made it sound like I would have opportunities thrown at me for studying abroad. Research. And jobs. Movies and media said right now will be the greatest years of my life. Partying. Friends. Late night adventures. Fun and dorm rooms. None of that came true. I have no friends. Studying abroad? Is that a joke? Worry too expensive. I go to class. And then go back to my room to study. Living it up. Literally anything. This is basically it. People want to help. They want to say something to make their depressed friends and family feel better or give some type of helpful advice to them but with depression nothing is going to help. People with depression have already heard it all. Tried it all and gone over every possible solution to cheer up and it hasn't worked. It frustrates them to hear the same old lines from people and it frustrates the people around them to see someone they care about suffering and there's nothing they can say or do to help. So if someone I knew had depression I'd probably avoid the topic and talk about something else. 
thread, either people understand that depression is not the same as sadness. Or they don't. I had a ducking doctor who didn't get it. Oh you should exercise. That'll help. Yes. I don't doubt that it would. Except it took me all day just to get dressed to come here. Edit. Yes I already got IT. It's good advice. Read what I wrote. It's a bootstrapping problem how to get enough energy to do the exercise that would give energy. It's all in your head. You just need to get over it. You should stop being so lazy all of the time. The fact that I'm genuinely ill and disabled really flies over some people's heads. It's all in your head. And diabetes is all in your pancreas. Doesn't make either one less real or easier to live with. And diabetes is all in your pancreas. Today I learned. Why don't you go out and meet new people and have fun? Well sorry. But everywhere is just so noisy and I can't stand being around many people. If I didn't have trouble meeting new people I wouldn't be nearly as depressed. Yeah I'll gladly rope people into my life whom I have to start all over again from telling them who I am and try to relate to them. In the chance that they'll disregard everything and become more worse or just the same as the people I had to get rid of. No thanks. I'll take the have fun part though. It happens to everyone. Look at those poor people. Sick people. You have a life that's way I, I, I better than them. You have everything. Good parents. Good education. Good job. Why are you being so melodramatic? Double quote. My mum tried calling me melodramatic once because I didn't want to go on a trip with her. My reaction to her saying I should go was a no thanks. I didn't make a big deal out of it. I wasn't in a place where I could do that at the time. She kept pestering. I kept saying no. Then somehow I'm the one causing drama. I don't get people. You finally put in words what I want to say to so many people. I wish I could give you gold but I'm poor as duck. Edit. Imga.com link. It's just a phase. Hit the gym. Exercise will make you feel better. I already work out twice a day for 2-3 hours and trust me. It doesn't ducking help. I love all the people that think exercise is some magic cure. Yeah. Sure. It can help. But it's not just gonna make everything better. After I jog a few miles and feel good. Then back to what's next. Recently broke up with a girl I was really in love with. Suffering from depression before this so when this happened it only made it worse. I keep hearing you're young. You'll find someone else. Or let go meet some girls. I don't want anybody else. P.S. If anybody wants to talk or vent or anything. Feel free to PM me. My heart cries for you. My ex has BPD. Left me for another guy who could offer more social attention that she needs. I feel like she and I could rekindle and I will learn to identify when she is making reckless decisions that will lead to breakup. But on the other hand. I should think rationally and move on. Let both of us grow up and be a more responsible adult. Although those kisses were truly unforgettable. I know this might seem like it goes without saying. But avoid using street drugs to cope with your depression and loss of love. Same exact thing happened to me. Currently 7 months sober from heroin. It's a permanent solution to a temporary problem. Regarding someone else who'd committed suicide. But. I'm on at least year 16 of temporary problems. My main issue with this is yes sure it might be a temporary problem. However the permanent solution literally ends all problems I have to experience forever which at the time seems like a sweet ducking deal. Every time I've tried to kill myself I 100% believed it was the only solution to a permanent problem. True chronic depression isn't temporary like people seem to think. There is no cure. Some people just learn ways to control it or find meds to control it. I got diagnosed at 8. It's been almost 20 years. I've been doing pretty good for the past couple few years but I can still feel it. And it hits me hard. When I least expect it. You can do it. I believe in you. Cheers mate. I don't believe in me and that's what matters. If you exercise more and eat better it will help. Sure. But that requires the discipline and energy and lack of social anxiety that IT takes to go to the gym. I have no friends either. Thanks. I feel much better now. I can see why. 
What am I supposed to say then? Dude. You probably don't want to talk about depression all the time. So I want you to know that you can talk to me about it if you want. But in the meantime we can just hang out quietly if you like. Maybe watch a film. Go for a walk. Chat about some inconsequential shit. Then if they do talk to you about what they're going through. Just listen. Supporting someone with depression can and will make you feel utterly helpless. But this stuff does make a difference. The important thing is just demonstrating that you care. Totally ducking perfect. Well done. It gets better. After two honest decades of trying to fix something both through self-improvement and professional intervention including multiple failed cost of both cognitive and chemical therapy. This just makes me feel more alone and a special kind of broken. The frequency with which I get this is one of the biggest reasons I don't let my loved ones know about my depression. I want to be understood. But the kind of fundamental misunderstanding that this shows is alienating enough that I'll just sit on the secret. Maybe I can hold on long enough for them to either die or wander out of my life. Or maybe I'll have to find a way to make it look like an accident. I suffer from bouts of depression. And at least for me it does get better, but it took lots of effort and several years. Right now I'm going through another stretch of being depressed and thankfully I know it can get better having been through the cycle before. Now I do know other people who never recover. It depends on the person I guess. Just like some people respond to meds and some don't. There are lots of variables. The hardest thing with depression is that you let your mind find the negative in everything. So when you're depressed. People actively trying to help you are seen as bad P.O. They don't understand you. They're being glib. They're nasty. They just don't care. Nearly every comment being referenced in this thread is from someone who cares and wants to help. They're doing it the best way they can. I've been suffering from terrible anxiety for the past 18 months that ebbs and flows with my cycle. Duck hormones. I've been working with my therapist and have tools but it's hard. I kicked depression in my 20s. I'm going to kick anxiety in my 30s. But if it comes back I have the tools to deal with it. The worst things said to a depressed person are things said by themselves. But when you realize that you need to change your thinking it's the best thing you can do. It's not easy. It's ducking hard work. But it's one of the kindest things you can do for yourself and give you the tools to work with it. Drugs help but I personally feel drugs mask the problem. Which sometimes is exactly what you need so you can fix it. But personally they just make it worse. Thank you for saying this. Whenever my friends aren't really hitting the nail on the head when it comes to trying to help. I remind myself that they are trying and. That alone. Is actually really wonderful. This. This needs to be seen. I understand how hard it can be. My mother and four of my siblings struggle with severe depression. But you have to want to better yourself and actually strive for your own success. And that's hard as duck. But there are people and resources available to help you overcome. I've skipped work because of depression. And sometimes a relative says but you should at least try to get up and go to work. I'm already trying. Jesus. Any of these, I have a list. Cheer up. It's all in your head. You have nothing to be depressed about. Mind over matter. You need to stop acting like this. Look at your kids. Don't they make you happy? Maybe if you went out more. God loves you. Why are you sad these are the best years of your life? 17. It gets worse from here. Actually 17 was probably the worst time of my life, period from 12 to roughly 20. Then it got better and better every year. Now by the end of my 30s. It's getting pretty good. Or I just don't care anymore. Either way. Feels better. Look on the bright side. At least X is, and, happening to you. Whenever I feel sad. I just get over it. Gee. I'm so glad that at least I'm not a starving child in Africa. It all puts it into perspective now. Thanks you for belittling my problems. Easily summed up by this comic. Literally everything. As someone whose depression has ranged from stay in bed for days to drink myself to death to I guess today is fine over the past few years. Nothing any friend has had to say has ever improved it. Talking about your depression to someone who hasn't experienced it is like talking to her an 8 year old about calculus. 
It just frustrates both parties and leaves both of you wondering what you thought this conversation would accomplish. What reason you have to be depressed? You have everything you need. Exactly. I don't have any reason to be depressed. And yet I am. That's why it's a mental illness. I wish I could keep upvoting this. Though the vocal majority of reddit isn't very religious at all. I'm sure many have heard the term. God won't give you more than you can handle. There is zero truth to that statement. There is nothing in the Bible that says anything close to validating that statement. In fact. The Bible is full of stories of people who get handed far more than they can handle. What you're experiencing sucks. And the fact that you're surviving it day in and day out is a miracle. Anyone who has ever uttered that empty phrase without providing a sliver of empathy is an idiot. Cheer up. Ro. Holy shit. What an epiphany. That was the solution I was looking for. How could I not have thought of that? Come on buddy. You'll be fine. Let's go get wasted and forget all about your problems. This is a big one. Getting drunk makes me feel even shittier when I'm depressed. I'm not sure if this is a common thing with people with depression. But alcohol does not help me. It's not what they actually say. It's when they say nothing at all. Like. I need help and I'm finally reaching out. It hurts my pride and I'm sorry to be a burden. But I trust you enough to confess that I'm suicidal. And I'm met with silence. Or worse. Disbelief. I have to take antidepressants. Ha ha ha. No you don't. Colon. Comma. Give it time duck that part of the reason I feel like shit is because I'm still doing the same shit I was doing 3 years ago I don't want more time. Pretty much any and all advice. Ali Brosh of Hyperbole and a Half captures it exceptionally well in part 2 of her writings on depression. A hyperbole and a half blogspot.com link. That being said. I've been on medication and regular therapy. Which both help. But those were things I had to decide to do on my own. Honestly. Almost everything. My depressed friend would block out most of what we said. No matter its tone. Because he just felt wrapped in a big bubble of muck and couldn't really get that happiness existed or that we were trying to help. The best thing. According to him. Is action. Invite them out. Even if they don't accept. Just make sure they're aware you exist and you're thinking of them. Ensuring they know a tiny lifeline exists can do wonders. Apparently I got him out of one of his phases through randomly phoning him and shouting about some retarded plan to go see the Milky Way in the middle of a national park the next week. He ended up coming along. It's not curable but it's just something they have to cope with and you should accommodate for that. Like any other mental illness. You just need to find a hobby. Because that is so easy when I feel empty. Struggle to feel any kind of emotion. And don't enjoy anything at all. And Hidonia is a beach. God has a plan for you okay. Cool. But since I'm pretty ducked up as it is. Let's not go around adding imaginary friends into the mix. It gets better. I know it gets better. But I'm depressed now. What can I do to help? I don't know. I really don't know. I just want you to get better. Yeah. Same here. Pretty much anything that isn't I'm here for you if you want or need my help. What about dank memes? Come on. Come out with me. No thanks. Come on. No thanks. It'll be fun. Not for me. No thanks. Come on. I'll pay. No thanks. Respect my decision please. If I don't want to come. I also don't want to lie and have to make up an excuse. I just don't want to go do. Thing. Yes. I'm likely sitting at home in front of my PC which would be boring to you. Yes. I realize that's not actually solving any of my issues. But it's delaying them and giving me something else to think about for a minute. I appreciate that you care and it's coming from a good place but it'll take me a week to get over your one night out and I can't handle that right now. You'll find someone. When? When I'm too old for it to matter. But you have nothing to be depressed about. Just push those thoughts out of your head. Thanks. Mom. I'm cured. Others have it worse. Let us check the list shall we? Had 17 surgeries. I'm just 14. 
I haven't been to school or talked to my friends for 7 months due to surgery. I can't walk properly so I get made fun of. Most if not all my friends have forgotten about me by now. Stress with homework and being in advanced classes courses. Well damn it ain't that bad. All of that aside I don't have depression anymore and just moved on but no. I haven't met anyone who has it worse and I don't want to know anyone who does. Aren't you worried drugs will change you? Yeah that's the point. I hate me. Just start doing something instead of moping around all day. I'll pray for you. Today I learned. There is nothing you can say to a depressed person that will offer comfort. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for 3 videos a day.